Hey, how's it going? Welcome to the Mystery School. Thanks for tuning in. Tonight, we have Shay Ritchie on the keyboard, Chris Arnett on the guitar, and then a little bit later in the night, Patrick Tice comes by and plays some bass. So I screwed up the intro to this one, so we're coming straight in with music, and then uh, we got some talking coming up after. But, uh, thanks for tuning in. I'm Tony Edelman, and Dustin Burton is playing the drums. I'm uh, playing guitar. We start this one out with a little Neil Young tune. Chris is singing, and then uh, I sing a few later. So, uh, cool. Look out, mama, there's a white boat coming up the river With the big red flag and a man, and a man on the rail I think you better call John Cause it don't look like they're here to deliver the mail And
Pressure's next to 57. The highway is your girlfriend as you go by. Quick suburban speed, suburban trees, and it smells like heaven. I said, roll on a once, roll on a twice. I'm in love with rock and roll. mystery school we've just jammed wow awesome. patrick tice on the bass for the second half the bass is extraordinaire <laughs> shay ritchie keyboard all night you're never gonna know what he played because i heard a lot of weird sounds <laughs> some sounds <laughs> were synthy some were organy some were uh is that a Wurlitzer-y? Can you do yeah. something? Wurlitzer-y. Yeah. We're making up. <laughs> Wurlitzer-y. Right <laughs> Chris Harnett on the guitar. Some, some guitar sounds. Always a Fender. Mason, Mason guitar. Fender, Fender man. Or Fender, uh, sorry. Uh, there's, there's Always been a Gibson a guitar and a Fender, yeah. a Fender amp. It's been a trainer episode here and there. Dustin Burton on, on the drums. Always. Never will play anything other than the, the, the house set because he doesn't like to bring stuff around. Yeah. I got my good symbols here it's and the good snare drum here. Just Not true, yeah. actually. Dustin would yeah. gladly switch in and out a set, but I'm like, come on, man, just play this set. I, like I did for set. years, like bring, yeah. carrying it back and forth kit. I always like this, sound, this set, though. Yeah, oh, finally. Right. It always does sound pretty good. It is. So, so yeah. what? what is that thing? It's the, the little Ludwig, Ludwig maple Ludwig. Yeah. Ludwig. Set, like the late 70s. Yeah. If you can have a house set, that's the key, you know, where it stays in place. Because then you can, you're not changing the mics each time or even the position. And you can just and let it sit. And a drummer will actually come over. Pretty much, yeah. I can just leave my good shit here. And then, yeah, it's, I can walk in with my stick bag. And if I need to, I can grab a similar two here and there. Do you keep pedal. a kit set up at your house? Yeah. Okay. I have two. Do you play pretty much like daily? All day? Uh, not daily, but uh, probably yeah. every other day. That's cool. Yeah. He just stops when the police show up at night and then starts <laughs> again when they leave. I'm kind of self-conscious about it because you're like with your neighbor. You, when you, you're in like a suburban neighborhood, pretty right? Pretty much, yeah. 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 Uh, my neighbors are pretty cool and I'm on a corner a lot, but... Especially when you're like wood shedding and like playing riffs, like not beats. If you want to just do like you're working on like a seven stroke, like it might it could get like annoying to people, like because it's yeah, not going anywhere. So you, yeah. sometimes you you know you have, you start start to start working and you're like, all right, I'll just do a beat and like show them like yeah, I know. Okay, what I'm, I'm not just like a kid in here making noise. Yeah, it's, it's different it's like, playing ah. a loud instrument. Yeah, versus like. Practicing a quiet instrument. But like Jocko, I had a set of drums twice in my life, and I always got rid of them one because you could never keep them set up anywhere where you can access them all the time because they're loud as fuck. Or um, yeah, they just you could rent a place and around. leave them set up, but that's expensive, and then they're just too fucking loud. Well, I've learned to mentally practice. Like uh, Jacko Pastorius said, like he's like, I don't need my bass to like rehearse. Like when I'm on a plane, he can like mentally picture the fretboard and like see the notes and like 
I do that all day long with like patterns or when we have new songs. Like I work shit out in my head. I don't have to be behind a kit, you know. Mm. I've done it enough and like I can work patterns out and like make progress in like the song. Like and then I can go down and like do it. People ever complain when you're talking to them and they could tell you're working on a song. They might like, why are you so distracted? This is far <laughs> off look in your yeah, eye. Why is your foot tapping? <laughs> I'm like tapping my foot or something. You just do it when you're in a meeting. Dude. I do have a far off. Yeah. You're all like this in the meeting. <laughs> yeah. So I'm always thinking about music and like analyzing that stuff. So I do have a yeah, far off look in my eyes. Do you uh, cap- capitalize on like leaf blower time? Like in your I neighborhood. like to do my yard work. You, you hear stuff. somebody like blowing some leaves. Oh, like, um, let me jump on the kit real quick. <laughs> <laughs> do, you do, do you do beats on your teeth? No, I've tried not to do that because that's like compulsive and stuff. Like I like to not grunt. Yeah, my Just teeth. Do away. everything you can I to look like a normal teeth. person. My dentist yeah. asked me if I would grind my teeth, and I don't. Although I think I do on the sleep. Yeah. I always I always do beats on my teeth. I might, yeah. I, but I'm always moving or sh- shaking. It's like the pulse of the universe, man. Moving like, and shaking. Yeah. I do like the this, this steering wheel drumming, I think, yeah. the most. That's my thing. <laughs> Two From fingers a, like, on the dashboard? Or yeah. Or do you actually do the, yeah, you do the drumming? No, nah, just like the... Psh- I'm surprised how many people I see driving that have drumsticks in their car that actually like that would be hit cool. the steering wheel. I should see it a few times. I've s- I see it quite yeah, a bit. See, that's the opposite of the practice I was just trying to talk about. Like it's mental practice. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's unsafe. that's dangerous practice. Yeah. And it's almost yeah. like where it's perfect pitch too. Like where if you that hear a note, you should like be able to picture where practice. it is on the fretboard or on the kit. So like you can uh, you can really imagine your fingering and stuff in your head like you just have to practice oh, yeah. use these same techniques when you talk to your teachers at school like i do homework in my head <laughs> i never get an opportunity <laughs> there's no, there's show me no your paperwork. notes listen to my podcast do it all in there's my head. there's my notes <laughs> yeah man i wish i could do that your boss is like where's all your uh, where's all the paperwork i did it all in my head it's all in my head that's like the hardest thing to do. Like keep track of anything in your head. The least rewarding. You can, you don't get anything for doing that. Mm-hmm. It's like you could you know keep track of a. Everybody wants the evidence, you know. Well, if you have the recall of like being able to yeah, you, tie the evidence you together, document it. You might as well just document it at the beginning. Well, you, yeah. So you got to bring a full like ream of paper. But I think if you just can remember the facts. And state them logically, and people you can go check that out, back it up. If you remember the facts, hey, I don't know. There's something to be said for storing shit in your brain. Yeah, yeah. it's a lot more it economical. It's strong, right? It's efficient. The muscle memory or whatever. Memory yeah, muscle. you don't gotta carry around fucking drumsticks when you drive. I got a <laughs> fairly poor it's memory. Fucking efficient. Yeah, mine's fading. I think already at my ripe old age of. Do you guys ever picture your, <laughs> like you're pl- playing guitar in your brain, like with your friend? I on wish songs I could, man. I'm fucking around. always like worrying about somebody's email breaking or some shit at my job, <laughs> you know? Because I'm like, you know, in support customer well, service. Well, only during the day, you know? Yeah. Like, what about when you shut the radio off and driving to work? Uh, then I'm just like listening fucking... to music mostly and trying to figure out what what they're doing. <laughs> no, the, turn off. The, when oh. you turn off. You just turn off the radio. And just like, oh, then, oh, yeah, that's a good idea. I could do that. Yeah, I forget to do that once, like every now and then. But like when you, that's the only silent time. Sometimes like you just turn off the fucking radio when you're driving to work. And just like it's like, I don't even drive to work. I take a bus and I just sleep. <laughs> yeah. It's fucking awesome, actually. But I forget sometimes. I'm always listening to music or like talk radio, and it's yeah. just like always something going and like. You just turn it yeah, off, nice and then you can After picture the show shit. comes on on 98, 98 Rock now, I have no problem turning it off. Yeah. Just all useless chatter, like the chatter in your head already. Like, like focus on something important. Yeah. But I've always liked from like when I was a kid, I would hear a note and like picture it where my iPod it was. My broke in my truck, so I think I might have to get a, a new stereo to... 
actually stream music from my phone now. I know so iPods are kind of oh. like a thing of the past. People like see my iPod, they're like, "Whoa, look how old that is!" I'm yeah. like, "Dude, it's not that old." It's like because if five years ago, to, is it a dial? Your iPod broke. Now the only way to get back to your old music collection. That that music collection was like two computers ago. I don't so even have that library, so now I have that. to start all over oh, from you something. Go to Spotify and stream. Yeah, so exactly. Yeah, I actually have like a massive hard drive of music still. So. Me too. Still, I uh, could, I have all intentions of yeah of <laughs> going through all my CDs and converting it. I just haven't done it yet. You can copy your iTunes library I would just recommend and onto like a getting Spotify yeah, for ten bucks upload. A month. To anybody, I've kind of done yeah. that, and I don't really ever listen to my music that I had. You just have to do Spotify only. It I sounds just, good, pretty much. You can yeah. do high fidelity. If you want to store music on your phone, you can even download it onto your phone. Yeah, like if, if you need to. Or I've had it for a few years. I don't. I'm not going yeah. back. Probably. I have Rhapsody. Yeah, it's, they seem to have more new albums CD. than Spotify. It's cool. You'll, or now it's Napster. I did I enjoy. We went snowboarding, and I enjoyed listening to, um, like, you have your CD, and like it reminded me of my old CD collection I had. Did like, I have the his, the CD case? Yeah, yeah, we, yeah. I had all. <laughs> That's it, cool. You had a, a lot of the CDs I had back from when I had CDs. And uh, it was great just flipping through that thing, pulling out <laughs> anti flag. That wasn't even the big case. That's I fun. Got, oh, shit. Why'd you hold memory. back? <laughs> Your CD player still works, right? Yeah. No, also, I just grabbed that one and threw, threw a bunch of. CDs also, and I will say, you got a subwoofer. So this thing pumps. We're on our way to snowboarding. It's also hella snowy. <laughs> a couple of cars in front of us. Slid right into the side of the wall. The bank. Oh, yeah. damn! They just, like wow. they weren't even mo- they weren't even driving. They <laughs> just they were going and they started and sliding they, and then slow there was no stopping. <laughs> right into the it was like how going far across in? an icy bridge. Really, oh. like, kind of up. You know, they the were icy up. It was a bank turn, the so they were up too yeah. high on the bank turn yeah. and they just slid right off. Oh wow! They were on the What's left that, lane and they're just going slow. Gas station. And then we just watch people in slow motion. Right to the wall. It's like, dang, that's going to suck for that. And then we were out of there. My truck slid a couple times, too. That's true. D- speaking of which, this last weekend. Probably before that, we even like got a little out of control, right? So this, uh, yeah, tw- I think two or three times it slid out. More than, I've never really slid out in that thing. It was an icy day. This past weekend, I was going up to Mendocino County to check it. I was going to photograph this oak tree it's the tallest biggest oak tree in the world in california but this type only grows in california so the world huge tree and i left friday night at like 9 30 because i wanted to get up there before the sunrise uh-huh and i'm Fr- crossing friday over. night at 9 30 i left You're at 9 30 pulling an all-nighter Getting ready to well, catch us. Well, it was like a four, four and a half hour drive. Okay. So I wanted to get there in we're time gonna, to catch a couple sleep. hours sleep in the back just, of my truck. Oh, okay. So I could wake up and... Pull an all-nighter know. and just hop So out. I get on this back road and see the 60 miles next service. And it's taking me through Mendocino Forest up in the hills in the middle of fucking nowhere. No big deal. Driving, having some beers... It's like 2.30 in the morning, and I hit snow, and just like a little snow patch, pl- blasted through it. There was another one, hit that one, then I come to another one that's a little longer, and I'm just going for it, not even thinking, and I got my truck stuck. And I'm fucking 30 miles from the last place I saw people. Whoa. Yeah, so I start trying to dig myself out at 2.30 in the morning, not getting anywhere. So I'm like, shit, uh, let me try and sleep for an hour or two and I'll get back at it. <laughs> Couldn't sleep because my car is like kind of on an angle, so I'm just sliding in the back. So I get out again and I start trying to dig it. I put it in reverse. I get up front, pop the hood, like try and push it as I hit the throttle. Not getting there. I had to fucking hike 19 miles <laughs> starting at 5 30 in the morning hold on here until <laughs> i finally saw somebody who picked me wow. up luckily and was driving a jeep and could pull me out i was in the middle of fucking nowhere 
You were parked out. You just stuck a road. In the like middle of 5,600 feet on this dirt forest road from like I-5 to Mendocino <laughs> in the middle of fucking nowhere. No service. You hiked 19 miles? 19 miles. How long does that take? Jeez. It took That's me five like- hours. <laughs> This is like, <laughs> like a survival story. <laughs> is, it, it was not. I didn't stop. The, we start the podcast with this. <laughs> yeah, I didn't. <laughs> it took me five hours. You just hi- is that hi- why you only have one I arm? Had no choice. I had no fucking choice. There was no. This is a real survival story. And yeah, I, I had much. to. I started hiking like five thirty in the morning. I'm way the fuck out in the middle of nowhere, and yeah, the only thing I'm thinking of is water? mountain lions. I had food, yeah. Well, what did you have? Let's hear about the rations. <laughs> I had four of those Lara bars, <laughs> one apple, That's one banana, <laughs> and 22 ounces of water. Uh, not, not a <laughs> lot. That's not a lot of water, but no. food better get, like, sounds pretty good. Did you take it all <laughs> with you I can you take for the that hike? right now. I'm yeah. starving. <laughs> so. That's just what I had there. No, I had fucking beer and cheese and salami <laughs> and all car. that shit back at the car. Uh, how long do you think you were going to hike when you set out foot? It was, I think I told you 30 miles. It was 25 miles you, from where I was. You to knew where I, how. I, I knew I was fucked. I, I either I, had to hike 25 miles or hopefully I was going to see somebody. I saw somebody at 18.9 miles. Uh-huh. So and you're luckily gonna, they were in a Jeep. And luckily you're going to invest in a winch now, right? <laughs> uh, or would it have even helped you? It definitely would have helped me. But yeah. if I would have had a shovel with me, which yeah. I normally have a shovel with me. Yeah. I, would have been able to got, get get out, but I didn't have one. I'm fucking trying to dig myself out with a lid from a protein powder jar and a piece of Tupperware. It was it was Fuck. fucked. <laughs> oh, that sounds so symbolic of working out. <laughs> you're like you need your muscles. Need all my strength. And then you're stuck <laughs> digging yourself out with yeah. a protein like protein yeah. lid. Yeah, it was. How did you get up. the people to stop? Did you like wave them down, or did they? Yeah, get, I waved them like, down. Yeah, I did the two like, hand wave. Were you, you know, like, the one where I mean business? Yeah, somebody did you, like, yeah. in front of the in front of them. Oh stop. no, no, no! But you just, it like, was just going up, like. Yeah, no, they were cool. They stopped. They had their dog. They were heading up for the day. Yeah, it was like ten thirty in the morning. By that time, it was eleven thirty. Yep. Yeah. Fucking wow. beat or what? Were you to? Uh, did, were you ever to the point like fuck, dude? I was having to talk to myself, yeah. Yeah. No one's coming to get you. Yeah. Just keep walking. Did you Don't make stop. any video? <laughs> no. Um, Last video? No. Nah, edits or nothing that. like that? No. You weren't quite the I did make some videos when I got back in my truck and I was back on track, though. Yeah. So look, I want to hear about some of the most intense parts for you. Were there some yeah, the, oh, parts fuck where you Yeah, there was t- intense. Were there some parts where you were, like, getting... You had to get you know, like, gotten pissed. Were you, like... T- I mean, well, no doubt. It, it was just really stupid because if I would have had a shovel, <laughs> I probably would have been out in an hour. Yeah. But I didn't have a shovel because I wasn't thinking that I was going to hit snow. Mm-hmm. I didn't know I was going to climb 5,600 feet. Yell some swear words and kick some tires and do any of that. No, but. You kept her cool and. Yeah. You I had some good beers, shit. though, and I had to yeah. stop drinking them. Oh, yeah. Uh, if you would have waited there, would anyone have come and found you? Or no, not up there, probably. No. Where Is you were, you had to. Road? I, I had to get myself out, or I had to hike. Yeah, there was nobody was coming there anytime soon. There was no tracks on the road, no except for mine. Like it was, uh-huh. this is way out in the middle of nowhere. <laughs> and I go out, I go out a lot. I've never been on a road that desolate before. And yeah, no, it was intense. A shovel was all you needed, huh? A shovel would have got me out. Yep. Did you at least get a picture? I, you know, that's funny. I didn't. You went? Did you go home after you got out? No. Um, no, I got out, and I'm like, well, shit, I missed this, oh, the sunrise. The sunrise. You're hiking. Yeah. I'll go for the sunset, and so I fucking drove back down and went around and. Came up, d- but I was route. up like 42 hours straight, and uh, yeah, it was kind of fucked up. That's cool. You were bended but not broken. You still decided to go drive back to see the sunset. That's fucking gnarly. You didn't just yeah. book it home. No, I had, <laughs> I had it planned. 
yeah, it was. That is a cool story. You no, know, we were, it yeah. sucks, but like, like you know, you. Really bad. Yeah, but you. It did suck really bad. I don't want to experience that. Oh no, it sounds cool. horrible, but it. It's like one of the. It's like a movie. I'd like, get to. It's like the it's hero's like journey. Our version of the Donner Party, but you made it out. Do you feel like you set yourself up for that for some reason? To like experience it, and like, no. did you want to like? No, it's kind of it's random. Good to know that I could random shit that, that I can get myself out if I have to. Yeah, but it sucked. It just before Man. the sun comes up. You know, I'm in the middle of the forest and I'm thinking mountain lions, and I saw like at least 15 deer right out. You know, right off the road, and here I am. Any weapons? <laughs> I had a f- pocket knife. How big? Four inch blade. Not that big. No. <laughs> it's not gonna help. No. I mean, it might- and I, it's funny you you say that because I had it in my pocket and I'm like, okay, the mountain lion jumps at me. I just have to time it right to get him in the fucking head or the neck or something. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna have to do a really precise. Yeah. Then yeah. I'm like, well, shit. Now I'm in Mendocino County. Is the fucking cartel gonna, you know, oh, yeah. stop me oh, with machine yeah. guns and shit? Yeah, yeah wandering through fears some. Too. You didn't even mention that. Yeah, all the fears, going, I guess. Are be, bear, uh, actually, bear is the least of my worries. Mountain lions and cartel, <laughs> my number one and two. What, yeah. Mountain lion one, cartel two. Yeah. And you didn't see neither? I didn't see anybody. Got lucky. Except wow. for that Jeep. Yeah. That's crazy. It was man. a fucked up day, but it could have gotten a lot. It could have been a lot worse because I was at the point when I find when I saw them that I tried I tried to take a break like a five minute break but my muscles were just gonna cramp up if I oh, stayed really? there and so I just had to keep going. You uh, damn! Oh wow! Fuck! Yeah, that's a eighteen point nine miles when you're not expecting to walk eighteen point nine miles. What kind of shoes did you have on? I have my. Hiking boots oh, on. Good. And another thing that probably wasn't good is I was trying to make good time, so I was running part of it uh, with those heavy boots on, yes. and that probably tore my legs up more than should have been. But yep, that's my fucked up story. I don't even know how we got onto that. Oh, we were sliding know, on the snow on the freeway, going snowboarding yeah. with the subwoofer woofer pumping. Yeah, quite the opposite of the stories. I had the <laughs> subwoofer pumping when I got stuck in the snow. <laughs> so. When it, you got back, got pulled out, how were you feeling then? What, I was feeling were you feeling pumped up? Like, like yeah, yeah, it was. Like how? I was back on track. I only Good lost. Rush. Did you feel? Yeah, was that like a, you know? At you that, felt I immediately, up for you? I immediately turned myself you around, said thanks to the <laughs> guys, <laughs> pulled over, packed a bowl, and grabbed one of the beers that I wanted to keep drinking when I initially got myself into that is that like the, like the biggest one of the biggest reliefs of many years of your yeah, life yeah it was the tastiest good, beer it was a good feeling and i could still i still was able to continue on because if i would have done it later in the day i probably would have just gone home yeah in fact i was planning on going home when i because i didn't think i would somebody was going to pick me up and i saw the sign right before i well a couple miles before i got picked up to where I had to go, and it was still like seven miles away. Yeah. So. Oh, yeah. Fuck. It was fucked up. That's crazy. It's pretty epic, wow. man. It's a, it's a, it was a hard lesson learned. Get out. The small things. Check the snow you see first. A shovel. No, I probably would have made it a if shovel it was now? cooler snow, but it was that slushy snow because it's getting been getting sun on it. Yeah. So oh, I sank okay. right in it, and then just a couple spins on the tires, and it heated it up, and it just turned that snow to ice. And so what was the tires were snow patch spin. like when you came on it? Did how like how large was the snow patch? Lengthwise, probably a hundred feet, but depth probably eighteen inches. And you were thinking you, I just crew. I'm gonna cruise oh yeah, right I just it. went yeah, for it. And then. It's and then it piled up up against my differential in the back a little bit uh-huh. and just you created sinking in and well <sighs> then my tires started spinning and then that heated have, up the snow and turned it to ice and then could you have done it by f- more speed or anything or or would you or would you, you just couldn't have made it through um 
looking back at it once I got out, it was pretty stupid to try and go through it. It just it wasn't that. <laughs> it, it was bigger than my ex terrorist. I shouldn't have done that. Uh-huh. That was pretty dumb. Would a truck with bigger tires have made it through? Or still no? Uh, I would have thought so, but the Jeep that pulled me out, uh-huh. he was like, well, you want to go through it and see, you know, how good it is? And so he was going to blow through it, too. And I got in his Jeep with him, and he got stuck, too. We had to dig him out. Oh, yeah. Yeah. So, wow. so just was like a bat, like, just it's, the wrong It was just that wet, yeah. m- melted snow that can't hold you up. And when it compacts, it just yeah. liquefies, and then you spin the tires, and it just turns it to ice. Tahoe quicksand. Yep. That's exactly what it was. And that's what our band is called tonight. <laughs> this was Mendocino Quicksand, though. Yeah, Mendocino. But it's just like Tahoe Quicksand. That's Same that's shit. Better. Same. That's a better name. I like that. Wow, that's crazy. I've been stranded, but not in the snow. Like, not, a, not in some desolate place. That was the worst I've that's ever been stranded. Up. 20 miles out. That's crazy. 22 ounces of water that's a big problem when i got picked up though and i only had half of the i still had like half of the water yeah i was rationing it a lot it was like that scene in the good the bad the ugly (laughs) my hands were getting tingly when i was walking at certain points really yeah i can't believe you had that much water left i would have ate i would have drank it all for sure you got a ration, dude. And then know. altitude sickness with rising. Well, up. I was going but downhill, was luckily. Because you came like, up. And I would have had four would go down beers. And then up, just and then like down, and then up, and then up. Yeah, I'm off my... Don't drive your vehicle through the snow unless you're fully equipped. Hmm. It's one of the best. That's the best story we've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet. It will be, though. Death, yeah. To yeah, make way. At least before the next journey, yeah, huh? We should have brought a shovel probably when we probably. went up to that fucking blizzard. Thanks for telling us the story. <laughs> yeah. We would have never made it 20 miles. Oh, fuck. We would have been dead. <laughs> 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 but we would have ran into somebody. We were then, on but. a more busy highway, but we wouldn't have yeah. made it that far. <laughs> yeah. We That's made it. four or five miles in me, probably. Who would have made it the farthest? You, you probably. Like, all right, man, you gotta let me nibble yeah, on your leg. I'd up, <laughs> I'm hungry. I'd end up, you'd have to go because I didn't Mia know would to have stay with first, for I'd sure. have to stay with <laughs> Mia and you'd go. Yeah, I'd be like, sorry, guys. Part of the excitement about it was and... not knowing how far I was walking, but just walking and trying to figure out, like, I wonder how far I've walked. I have had to have walked, like, 10 miles. And then once I got picked up, <laughs> I had them reset their... Tripometer back to my truck. How, How far did you think you had it? made it? Uh, I went. I walked 12? further than I yeah. thought. Yeah. I yeah. thought I had. I thought I oh, walked really? twelve to fifteen, and it was eight. Eighteen point nine. Yeah. Wow. Fuck. When you started, you were thinking you're gonna walk twenty four miles. No. Yeah. So, like, <laughs> right, about to do an untra- unpracticed yeah. marathon. Yep. Damn. Dustin. You should walk home. It goes a long way yeah. tonight to About experience. 18 miles. To experience what Patrick went through. Yeah. All right. <laughs> I'll give it a try. In you, honor. You'll regret it. <laughs> yeah. Did you get blisters on your feet? Yeah, how long did it take you to recover from it? No, but two of my toenails feel it. are purple. And oh, man. Like the altitude, too. Oh, like, fall off. Yeah. Wow. Shit. Yeah, they were fucked up. And then I kicked the... Did you have cell phone service or anything? It wasn't working? And when you got back and you got cell phone service and you called home. I didn't get get cell phone service until 50 miles. It was 50 miles. Your family would have never known what happened to you if you never would have gone out? Um, Somebody (laughs) knew where I was. Well, they knew like. A range? No, nobody would have known. <laughs> you wouldn't have Damn. found some people got out of there. Yeah. I was preparing before the jeep came to smoke signals. 
No, but there were a couple airplanes that I was looking. To, <laughs> but I, I, it, I knew that wasn't going to do anything. But no, I was preparing. I was going to have to sleep on the side of the road and continue on the next day because my legs were shot. Yeah. I don't know if I would have made it the full 25 miles. Uh-huh. So were the people that picked you up, like, cool? Did they seem like oh, they yeah, were, they like, were guardian totally angels cool. or something? Or kind of, uh, like, they were, weird shit they were like cool. that? They were probably a couple my age and their dog. Yeah, yeah like, Facebook but, friends now or stuff. <laughs> no. But Why I told were they them, out? I'm like, man, I am so excited to see you two right now. And they're like, you okay? And I said, yeah, I got my truck stuck in the snow. He's like, well, I got a shovel. You think that'll work? And I said, probably, but... I don't know how far back I am. I know I'm pretty far back there. I'd hate to just go there with a shovel and have it not work. I said, would you mind going down the hill a little bit and get some rope? So I paid him 40 bucks, and we went and grabbed a rope and went back. Dang. Pulled me out. How nervous do you think they were that you were a serial killer? <laughs> well, they, to- they told me on the way there. They are like, yeah, she normally doesn't let me stop for anybody, but... Um, you know, come just, I don't know. Did they say why they were out there? Like they just happened to take a they were turn going, down that road? No, they, they were going to, they were from the area kind of, yeah. and they were up there doing their thing. But they're like, yeah, we, we come up here and, you know, for this reason, in case, you know, we see somebody who needs some help or something like that. But I think you're lucky you didn't, you don't look like me. <laughs> <laughs> no. I didn't think that. You don't look that menacing. I've got this big beard. You got the curly locks. I'd probably just let me die. You would let yourself (laughs) die. They probably just wouldn't think you're out there, like, you know, watching a weed garden or something. They would have helped you. (laughs) Just watching the snow melt. It was an unnerving experience. That's all. It's like on uh, the Goonies when Chunk finally I thought about Chunk. In the Fratellis. (laughs) Do you remember the Goonies? I don't. Oh, uh, I, mean, I, hear, but I don't remember. That. He finally gets a car. He gets out, gets a car. Help, help. And then it's the same people he's what? running from. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh, that's crazy, man. But you were just trying to get your car out, so that wasn't going to happen. Yeah, and I had probably like $4,000 of camera gear in there and a truck that's worth like a thousand bucks at best. But once I walked, that first mile, I was like, there's nobody's going to fucking mess with my shit. What about there's nobody uh, out here. Yeah. Mountain people, deliverance. I don't know. Uh, did that cross your mind or no? No. Just the cartel. Just no. mountain Just lions the cartel. or cartel. California. Yeah. On my mind. You got to be in like and then I would, <laughs> and, then the, and then the phantom engine noises started where I'm like, oh, oh, I hear that something. That would be the worst. Oh. But then you stop walking and then you listen and it's just... A weird, Silent. A weird wind. Uh, some in my backpack, I think. <laughs> Mar- yeah, it's a mirage, an audio mirage. It was <laughs> fucked up. Fucked up five hours. Seven hours, actually. Man. You could have right. listened Great. to this podcast in that time. <laughs> <laughs> That's how long we've probably been recording. No. Download it to keep you company. I have the tiger on repeat just to keep you going. <laughs> that would have definitely helped. If only I had a cassette tape player. Anybody got a story that can beat that one? Mm-mm. No. And do you want to try right now? I got nothing. I got nothing. Yeah. That's pretty good. I've only been stranded, but there, like, where where I got stranded, there was people, but they just, like, didn't help. (laughs) 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 They were assholes. I had one kind of, like, like, I don't know. You're not as worried about that. Yeah. Because you're like, they're not going to let me die. (laughs) We thought we were going to have to spend the night. I I drove my truck, like, uh, to the swimming hole up Highway 70. Like the high, the Feather River Canyon, and uh, we uh, were coming back, and I just had all this work done on my truck. It was a Forerunner, and 
had this paid this guy to do all this shit to it. It was an old forerunner, like an eighties model. You thought you can climb anything or what? No, I mean it was. I just thought it was you know me- mechanically sound. Oh, so okay. I was like, didn't have Fuck any it, worries about the it. Swimming hole. So I went up to the swimming hole, had a great time. Was coming back, following some friends, and all of a sudden my like um, temperature gauge just pegged i was like what the fuck and my truck just started putting out and like so basically what happened was like i lost like all of my belts like because one belt snapped the the guy didn't replace my any of my belts and he was supposed to tune my whole truck up you know uh-huh. so he didn't look at like he did a lot of work to it but didn't look at the belts it's like the belts, basic bro. shit yeah. one belt came off and it took off all the belts on the it was there's like a three pulley system or whatever a three belt system and so i was my truck overheated and i was fucked it was like my, i watched my friends speed off in front they of didn't me stop? and me and my buddy jeff were just like yeah we were just no they didn't even see they i had to pull over but they, they didn't were, come back ever? no they were just off they, they just thought we lagged or something behind and so we we're up in the feather river canyon like on the side of the road and a couple of dudes and like unlike you like they thought we were like fuck ups or something so nobody would stop for us you know we were like trying to hitchhike to somewhere <laughs> and so i didn't really give those people much of an option yeah. when they drove by i was flagging them down we hard. should have done Walk that. the road uh, no but i was walking towards their car like please <sighs> listen uh, to me or if you're not going to stop if you could turn around and let somebody know that you know yeah, yeah that's the way to go man if i was in desolate wilderness like that i would that's be a little I bit more fuck we just thought somebody <laughs> was going to stop for we're like somebody will fucking stop and nobody did and so we were like well let's just hike back to this this pg e building that we knew like uh, up the, the road like it was probably like five miles you know up the road or something so it wasn't that far and we we so we did that we were hitchhiking along the way but nobody mm. gave a shit you know so we finally got there and right by the pg e thing there was like a swim hole so we went down there and we knew there'd be people there so we went down there and told some people like hey like you know call my girlfriend and tell her like we're up here stuck when you get back to chico this one i was in chico and I think somebody m- may have tried to call her, but she was just not by our phone. <laughs> so we were up there like all fucking day. Like we were probably, we got, I think the blowout happened. I was probably maybe three, four o'clock. And then we were up there till like midnight pretty much. <laughs> How'd you get home? Finally, well, we, the P, we went back to the PG&E building and it was all... It was during like 08, so there was like lots of furloughing going on, or 09 or something. It was all closed. So up. it was all closed up <laughs> and shit. Damn, we thought it was Friday. We're like, we're going to have to fucking like break right, into my this belts shit break on a fucking furlough like, Friday. And try to, yeah, try to get a, try to make a phone call or something, you know, because we're going to be sleeping up here otherwise. We, were, we didn't have shit. We had a fucking Snickers bar. Are you gonna be you know? <laughs> we were eating oh, the berries, funny. like the blackberries on the side of the fucking, because it was Feather River was right there, you know, oh, so whoa. we were eating fucking blackberries and, and shared a Snickers bar <laughs> <laughs> for dinner. And like, uh, oh, yeah, we were like, fuck, like, I hope somebody like caught, got a hold of my girlfriend, you know? And like, sure enough, no, nothing. We were up there for days, and just waiting for some finally, to pick you up. we were sitting out in front of the cross the street from the PG&E or whatever. Or Caltrans. It was Caltrans actually, Caltrans mm-hmm. building. And then finally, this dude comes out of there, like You've been <laughs> in there the whole time. Get, what are you guys loitering for? Or something. <laughs> and like, oh, we like ran over to him hey, and we're hey. like, hey, we gotta like, we're stranded and like, we gotta get you know, make a phone call and like, so he finally like let us make a phone call and. Who'd you call then? Uh, my girlfriend and she's like, I'm like, she finally did you get any it? phone no, calls? Seriously. Like we've been stranded <laughs> up here. Where <laughs> are you worried been? about me? <laughs> That's why we're exes. No. Nah, nah, but she, like, ne- nobody, I don't think she got the call, or maybe she didn't recognize it, so she didn't pick it up. And so, yeah, finally, we, we did get out of there, but. Uh, <laughs> That's a know, terrible feeling. It sucks, yeah. We thought we were sleeping up there for sure. Well, I got a quick one, but it was on foot, where we went up to do the Rubicon, Desolation Wilderness, 
and we were going to be rock rollers for the weekend. Mm -hmm. So, like, we hopped in with the Jeeps, and, like, you start going down, and, and like, I decided to walk it in, you know? Mm -hmm. And so they just, like, walked off, and the Jeeps left, and, like, I had a general idea where to go, you know? And, like, I probably took some acid or something, too. Just like just like went down and like you know for a while I knew like I was going like in the right way but it was like a long hike you know I'm not sure how long it was to drive in but it was probably like in the 20 mile range in the jeep I'm not sure how long the hike you know maybe 25 30 miles who knows but like so like I knew I was out there and like there's like all kinds of trails I think was like what okay where are we and finally. It's getting like, oh, shit, I'm kind of stuck out here. I'm not going to make it, you know, to camp tonight. And then, like, some couple came up in a little pickup truck. They were just cruising around, like, um, not four-wheel drive or anything. Hmm. And I was, like, hopped in the back. Like, How did they get up there if it wasn't four-wheel drive? Well, they were, like, taking the main road. Um, it was, like, there's dirt roads that go into where you can start to really four-wheel. And so they took me to a spot where, like, all right, we know this is where – like the head it goes in but they couldn't go any further you know so i was like all right here i i go so i hopped out of the back of their truck and I was like okay this is as far as they can get me so i just knew to hike down to the to the river and then st trying to start to make my way up the river pick a direction to go yeah i kind of knew the general direction yeah. but there's so many fucking trails and like main trails and then other people's trails that like they carved and like so I was like, yeah, all right. So I like, hiked down the hill for days, like finally made it to the river, you know, and it's like the, and the trail was like gone. It's like, oh, shit, you know. So I just hiked, hiked up the river um, and it was like starting to get like dark, you know. And I was like, oh, shit, well, I'm going to have to camp out. Kind of like I yeah, didn't really know from there what I was going to do. But, like, they sent, like, a search party. Or, like, some people, like, they start com coming down the, the roads in their Jeeps, like, ee, 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 ee. like, hey, hey, Dustin. And they're like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know? Like, they sent a search party. For like, them. they, yeah, it wasn't, yeah. Like, they were saying your name? Yeah, like, they found, yeah, they found me, like, yeah, because I was, thankfully, I was, I hopped out of the Jeep and, like, I was going to hike in and meet him there. And, like, the, thankfully, they, like, when they were setting up camp, they are like, it's getting dark, like, shit. Like, you probably, sh I'm not sure how long they took, but they probably didn't take, like, till dark to get there. Yeah. I think they had been there a couple hours, and, like, shit, it's getting dark. Like. Yeah. Wow. We better, like, start to, like, get look, and, like, uh, yeah. How far in. away were you from there, from the camp? It seemed like, like, a long time. Like, way further than I thought. Wow. I think it seemed like it was a good hour of wheeling in maybe uh, yeah 30 minutes to an hour because like, i was like oh shit because i kept thinking i was right there you know it's like i'm right there and like ah, no yeah yeah that shit's crazy i made it and spent the whole like weekend out there for a few days i have a story that's way even wimpier than dustin's story i, I was like with my family on a houseboat and I was on what I thought was an island. We had a kayak. So I was like, ah, I'm just going to go paddle around the island. So I start paddling and you just go it around. What lake were you on? Lake Shasta. Probably, <coughs> probably not a good move. <laughs> <laughs> so I start paddling and you just start turning corners and you're just going. And eventually, you know, like oh, yeah. you've been gone a long time and you're like, is this an island? <laughs> You're like, what wait. This could be a continent. Well, it's, a big, <laughs> it's a big lake. Yeah. You get to the point where you like, do I turn around or do I keep going? I kept going. Oh, shit. I hoping for what? Point, I th hoping I was on an island. Uh, it doesn't <laughs> seem like, thinking back, why would I have thought there were, this was an island? This is you like, were just a kid? Or? Houseboat. Yeah, I guess. I, I mean, I wasn't that young. I was probably like 14 or whatever. Yeah, that's kid. Oh, yeah, I was young and dumb <laughs> on Lake Shasta. I'd never seen a map of the river, so yeah. keep paddling. And I, I finally was like, I think if I get out here, I can cut across and uh, like hike and carry. It looked like it was like a peninsula I was avoiding. So I like, carried the kayak across, <laughs> and I did get back in the water, and I started paddling. 
and I kept paddling and I did finally reach the other side of the island and I found the other side of the boat. So was it an island? It was an island. It, but it, like, you know, looking back, maybe it should, I got lucky. It probably shouldn't have been. Huh. Wow, that's crazy. But it took a long time. <laughs> it took probably a couple hours on a kayak for, with somebody yeah. who was probably the first time on a kayak. We were ever thinking like, I can't paddle back. You're like, arms are getting like... I, the only moment of, like, thinking, like, I don't know about this was when I was carrying it across the peninsula. <laughs> but, like, it wasn't, it, yeah. this was less than two hours, probably, oh. like, more like an hour, hour and a half. And I wasn't, it, I don't know. Yeah, don't, you could fucking take forever to, like, and you I, know. Yeah, so I didn't feel like, I wasn't that worried about it. Do we have time for one more? That reminded me of a story. Where when I was 11, I got stuck on the Yosemite River. Like me and my buddy, we went there with my dad and his friend. He had a son around my age. They're like, all right, we'll drop you guys off at this part of the river. And we had like basic like floaty fucking rafts or tubes or something. And they were going to go down here and like... You know, it's like hang out and drink beers and like fish, and we were supposed to float down to their spot. You know, like we hopped on. How the foot. old were you? I was I was eleven. My buddy was twelve. How cold was the water? It was like I don't I don't remember that till later. You know, like the water wasn't bad enough to like. Uh, but we hopped on and like, you know, like we were on the fucking river like all day, you know, like to where like our raft started to deflate and we're like, shit, you know, and then we would hop off. We'd see like campgrounds and we'd like walk off like, hey, like, like, no, they're not here, you know, like we'd walk up and we hop back in the water and like our rafts were starting to like, you know, deflate and like we were- it, blow them up? Uh, we tried like when we would walk up and yeah, they would stay, but they- <sighs> Yeah, I don't remember what kind of... That's kind of raft or what? I think... I'm not even oh, sure. It? it was so long ago, but I... It was kind of like an inner tube type thing, or... Oh, like a, I had, like, an inner tube, circle tube, and he had, like, maybe, like, a pool raft, you know, like, something uh, fucking stupid. Oh, Jesus. And, like, we were going down, like, the fucking, like, Yosemite River, River, you know, and, like, like so... Class like, five rapids and <laughs> shit. You know, yeah, like and, like, it, we probably three, popped... Probably. probably scratched it to a point, but we got to a point, once again, like, the sun was going down, and, like, we didn't find the people, and, like, um, like the rangers would do their sweep on the river at... Uh, sunset and like I have to clear everybody off you know the rafters and stuff and they they finally found us just like floating <laughs> down, down the river like They're paddling right. like what the halfway fuck? in the water like we just kept, we were going you know like we see people on the sides like where's like people camping like a campsites and stuff and like walk up like <laughs> no nope, this is the spot hop back in the water go down did you end up passing your family or no we probably did or they or we beat them to you know they dropped us off and they're like oh we'll go to the spot oh, and like you I, probably beat them I don't even remember what even happened but we probably went past the spot where they were trying to get to you know like uh, yeah and then it, but we got cleared up by the rangers and like they're like put us put the, us on a boat on a raft with like some like foreigners I forget where they were from but like, and we were cold as fuck, and we were like, we were shivering. And how, they go, wait, how did they find you? The rangers do the sweep at what, the like at sunset. Or no, they, they go boat, down right? the um, or the river rafts. Or, yeah, the river rafts at the end of the night. They came like, down the river. They came down behind us. Yeah, like oh, okay. clear, and they like just make sure everybody's like off the river. I think at sunset. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's what was going on. Okay. Um, but then they, they're, they're like, oh, shit. You know, we're like, we're looking for our dads. Like, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. And then they put us on, like, with um, these foreigners that were vacationing. And I remember, like, we were cold, shivering. And they're like, why you go? You know, like, why you do that? You know, I'm like, what do you mean? I'm fucking cold as fuck, man. Like, ugh. They didn't understand, like, shivering, I guess. I don't remember if they were like Russian or Asian or whatever, but they were something that didn't understand, understand shivering. shivering. <laughs> yeah, and I don't even. Well, all people you get stuck with when you're freezing cold. Yeah, the Rangers put us on their boat, and I, just, I don't remember how I, we even ended up finding. <laughs> Shivering's them. like a universal language. I thought, I thought too. so too. Like laughing. It seems like Russians weird. know more about shivering than a lot of I people. I don't know that it even was, yeah, okay. but it was just maybe it was people from the somewhere near the equator. 
don't know, yeah. Probably not. But they, they couldn't understand our language, you know, and... Any chance it was just Mexicans? No. Oh, well. Yeah. Anyhow. Doesn't explain the shivering. <laughs> I don't know. But we survived again, once again, at sunset. Wow. Pretty big faux pas by your parents. <laughs> Dude, yeah. It was like... Stoner like, dad, like, yo, man, like, yeah, what dropped you off? Was it just, just your dad or your dad and my, No, my dad and his buddy. Oh and then, and, and he buddy. brought me and, you know, my, and his buddy brought his son. He and was and around my was, age. Uh, just like a, or like it was like a boys trip, you was know. Was like, overnighter? I think we went up there for the weekend or, or something. Yeah. And it was like, as we left, they were doing, the, they would do the um, fire over Half Dome or something, like, oh, or the yeah, yeah. or Angel Falls. You know they would I do the, about the fire falls, They do the fire fall, yeah. Before you miss that, your parents, well, I watched it di- driving out. You know, oh, you didn't watch it because it's like the end. Of the, they do it like the end of the weekend or whatever. But that's part of the cool shit. Your dad and his buddy wanted to smoke a bowl, so they dropped you guys off. Exactly, yeah. Yes. They're hiding we'll meet behind you. a tree. <laughs> yeah, we'll right meet by you there. The, yeah, <laughs> probably the, the fish. Wow. But it was it was fun. It's fun. a good story. I still yeah. don't remember how I found them, but it's that was an interesting trip. The worse the experience, the better the story. That's why like your story is the best story of the night. Because it yeah. was a horrible experience. Yeah. There does come a point where it gets too much. But yours, you know. Mine was right on the edge. It was a happy, <laughs> a happy ending, you know. Yeah, the happy ending always helps. You didn't have to chop a limb off or anything. <laughs> yeah. Well, it was nice that the first vehicle that I did see yeah. ended up being four-wheel drive. Yeah. How there deflating could have been a was story that? of like you trying to stop a vehicle, getting hit by a car, <laughs> and then crawling to the next person to help you. Oh, gosh. Uh, yep. <laughs> Damn. Well, did you guys enjoy the jam tonight? Yeah. That's, mm-hmm. Yeah. Bring it back in. Forgot That's we jammed. So, they'll segue Bring it around. back in. <laughs> yeah. yeah. That's good. I thought it was the a, jam. Seems so trivial now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, I think you when you yeah, jam in here. Well, when when you're jamming on a weekly basis, you got you gotta get a lot of flashing lights and. Two amps. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, fellas, another successful night of the mystery yeah. school. Yeah, I'd thanks say. for coming out, everybody. Thanks yeah, for yeah. hitting me up. I think uh, I think this was a success. Bed, yeah, I think at this point, what are we looking at? Like one <laughs> Bed, bedtime stories. Yeah. All right. Thanks for tuning in, everybody. All right. Good night. Peace.